What is going on everybody? Got a quick video for you here. The Division 2 Private Beta is now live on all platforms for pre-order and beta access players. Like most betas, it's just that, a beta. Unlike most betas, this beta is packed with tons of activities to include two main missions and five side missions. Along with the open world, you can also explore one of the three dark zones and try the new PvP deathmatch. There is also an opportunity to test out the end game as well as the new specializations. Overall, the game plays well, and at its core, The Division 2 is a continuation of The Division 1. New maps, new story, new factions, but it's still the same game with a lot of reworks and revamps. And this is in no way a bad thing. Issues aside, The Division 1 was a good game. A late bloomer, but a good game nonetheless. The Division 2 picks up and continues to carry that banner, but here is my concern, the gear. Not the lack of gear, but how the stats are distributed on the gear. Currently, there seems to be very little consistency on how stats roll on gear. The creative director of Ubisoft, Julian Garrity, has said on several occasions that he liked the game better before theorycrafting and mid-maxing became so prevalent. In his defense, I did not understand the gear in this game until I found a group of then small-time YouTubers by the name of Marco Styles, Wobo, and Skillup, just to name a few, who explained the hell out of this game to me. This was around patch 1.1 or so. That was when things really changed for me. But how many other players did not have this experience and left the game confused because of how stats roll on gear? As I stated before, The Division 1 is a game of numbers. As it stands, the stats on gear in The Division 2 seem to roll like they did prior to patch 1.4 in The Division 1. Before 1.4, mid-maxing a build was complicated and time-consuming, which made the RNG and lack of loot drops that much more harsh. After 1.4, gear stats were reworked and normalized. This gave birth to community-wide theory crafting and mid-maxing as a whole. Unfortunately, this also led to Alpha Bridge and Armor dominating 1.5, and the Seeker Mind skill builds in 1.6, and so on. But as a theory crafter, this new departure concerns me. I want to dream up new builds and mid-max those stats. But if we're going back to the days prior to patch 1.4, I fear for the future but I can see why Ubisoft would want to move away from things that lead to powerful metas. Now don't get my concern for what's what confused with speculation. I will never speculate. I'm just speaking from my heart to my fellow theory crafters. But my job is to state the facts and let the community make its own decisions. Also, since this is just a beta, we won't truly know what's what until the game goes live. So maybe we're only looking at how stats are distributed on low-level gear. If so, then I retract the previous and apologize. But if the goal of Ubisoft is to kill hardcore theory crafting and mid-maxing, then there needs to be tons of content drops in its place. Please do not forget that theory crafting and min-maxing kept the Division 1 alive during its darkest moments. That being said, this is a live game and we have a voice. If we see something we don't like or something that needs improvement, speaking up as a community will always get those things corrected and updated. Take for example this new skill cooldown timer. I remember when this was a random new post on the Division Reddit. It didn't make its way into the Division 1, but here it is in the Division 2. In fact, I remember when rerolling weapon talents was a random new post on the Division Reddit as well. Understand that we as gamers have all the power, and we do not have to accept what game developers give us and learn to love it. Speak up and speak with your wallet. The only thing game developers understand is money. When the money starts to go somewhere else, they take notice. When the money dries up, that's when the real changes begin. The Division 2 Private Beta ends this Sunday at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, respectfully. The Division 2 goes live on March 15th. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Take care, everybody.